guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Rocky Billy Customs channel and today I'm going to be doing something that my last name for the channel actually says. Customs. So today what I'm going to do is build a custom gauge cluster on my Maverick. Now, I, if y'all went to my Instagram channel, you'll see I made one. Well, I had to trash that one because it sunk back way too back in there. It was recessed too far, and it just didn't it just didn't flow right with the dash. So, scratch it. I already got one attempt. I already have one kind of made up. So we'll jump into that. But first, I want to show y'all something. So y'all hear me talk about I was going to get a CB. I wanted just one CB. So let me come around and show y'all. So my grandfather gave me his old CB that he had. This is an old Midland. Down here I've got a, another old Midland. See a dirt dauber nest used to be right where the mic went in. Yeah, old ones. Surprisingly they still work. So go and unplug that. Right. I don't use I don't want to use that battery up. So yeah they work I just got a new program he gave me an antenna and yeah I can't talk to nobody yet because I don't know nothing about CBs so yeah but they're old Midland CBs crazy they still work now but that's not what I originally wanted come over here and I got these two right here This one is the Breast Cancer Awareness um, CB. It's from Cobra. It's the 29 LTD Classic. This one was free, and yes, it works. But the one I really wanted, this thing was new in the box. I just got out to see if it still worked. The Cobra Bluetooth 29 one. So, now this thing is awesome. Brand spanking new. I looked online, these things are worth between $175 to $200. I got both of these for $45, not $45, $40. So incredible steal. And also, supposedly, I got my buddy coming to pick this thing up for $50. So, boom, I made my money back plus $10 more. And <clears throat> here's the new one. This comes with a brand new mic. Everything was brand new. Um, the old one, the pink one, is the used one, has an Articac art tack mic on it and like i said they both work um and this was the box that the new bluetooth cobra came in so hot damn can't be more excited than that so let's go back over here though to my dash <coughs> so here's my dash my old one let's see if it's still I cut the back off. Okay. I got the curvature right, even though it's a little bent now. But this, we did not want to set down in there. And this had a gap right here, while this is nice and flush. Not going to work. Not going to fly. And don't worry, I'm repriming this dash. But we come here. Set that into there. Actually, no. It goes like that. Alright, holding it up against there. Look how much easier that flows. Just not, might want to be rounded up just a tad bit. But, she's there. Now, yes, I cut it a little long. Because first, I'm going to come back in here and cut the inside here and this is going to be what recessed just a little bit back there but then the outside here is going to be bent to follow the curvature of this dash so and once that is curved correctly to it then I'm going to come back and weld both pieces together down at the bottom end like tack it down here and that's it I gotta figure out where and what I'm actually going to do and y'all see how I do this the piece of cardboard I'm going to have is going to go in here but I'm going to have this in the dash while I make it so therefore it fits to this dash so 
but yes that is today and that's this chant uh, video we're going to get this piece done blasted primed gonna get the dash free prime get the backs out of this dash blasted now I gotta go through and find out what pieces I'm painting black that's metal and hopefully by this video I will have those pieces hot rod matte black with
it, guys. I got my dash just laying over here out of the way, so I don't destroy it anymore. But yeah, I do gotta sink just this area. I'll sand the whole thing down, shoot up the primer again. That's probably gonna be tomorrow. But got my sides welded up. Um, see in here, she's fitting just perfect. I mean, perfect. There we go. Yeah, that's dark on that edge. Yeah, she fits perfect there. Perfect right there. So, awesome. Now what I gotta do, is weld the piece into there. So, let's show you how I'm doing this. Let me go get the pin. Let's get all this on the way. All right, piece of cardboard. Again, the piece that you're working on. So, I'm going to do this. Here's the straight edge of it. I don't know, a piece of paper might work better, but we're going to try it with the cardboard. It's in there perfect. Now, I might have some meat left over meat. I'm talking about just a little bit here and there. I don't care about that. I'll come back and grind it. But what I do gotta fix is there right there. I cannot have that. So, just add a little bit to that. Even if it's like I said, if it sticks out here, I can come back and grind this all down because I'm just gonna weld into here. So, So yeah, that's how I did it. All right, let's cut out of metal. I go cut this, trace this out onto metal and cut it out.
Man, trying to do this with the uh, GoPro broke. It's kind of hard to do. Not the GoPro's broke, but the do the hose the mic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll let you know the uh, gauge cluster is perfect. Now, the only reason why I put mud on it is the little pits that the welder left. And uh, I'm going to be sanding a lot of this off. But yeah. So tomorrow, I'm going to let this dry. And then I'll start sanding this down. I'm going to sand it outside because I just cleaned my shop. So I'm not going to touch this the rest of the night. Just let it stay there. But uh got the dash up on there. I'm going to play with the sea beats for a bit. But uh, kind of walk around the shop. You notice it's a heck of a lot cleaner. Uh, move the motor over. Oh yeah, and y'all tell me one thing. Okay, I got the blue gasket f for my oil pan. It's not crushed, it's not torn or nothing. And it was leaking because the bolts weren't fully tightened. I can't remember if I torqued them or no, that's been over seven years ago. And um, I don't know, the motor could just shook them loose. Question, can I reuse my gasket if it's the blue one that's reusable? Like your uh, oil covers, your valve covers, they're reusable. It's the same material that the valve covers are used with. So can I reuse it as long as it's not torn? Please tell me in the comments below. If that's so, I can just put it back together, put some new spark plugs in it, throw some paint on it, and... As soon as I get the engine bay painted, throw the motor right back in it. Uh, transmission's laying over there. Nothing wrong with the transmission. We're just going to put a new clutch in it. And that's it. Um... Well, y'all looking at everything I've been priming, and right now I've got three coats of primer on most products, but on the dash and the gauge cluster, my radio, and the cigarette lighter cover, I got four coats on it. So now what I gotta do is just let it dry, then I can actually lift the uh, dash up, and I can paint behind that piece. But I'm gonna show you right now. This is gonna be the spray gun that I'm using. It is gonna be the smaller one from the bills it act, it says 30 psi so i'm going to have to regulate from 40 down to 30 
I figured I'm going to use a small one since I'm on the small pieces. It's not nothing like a car fender or a door or anything where I need a big pattern. So, I haven't used this gun yet. I actually won the kit that came in this gun and the bigger one. I think for sale they go for like 230 But um, I won it by buying a shirt from Snap-on. And I didn't think I was going to be entering in some kind of contest. Well, he went ahead and entered me. And he, next week, what do you know? He's like, hey, bub, you won this. So, it's awesome. So, yes, this is going to be the gun that I'm going to be using to spray the Hot Rod Matte Black on all the pieces. Okay, guys, I just want to walk around and kind of show you all a little bit. So, I got the front and the back done. Got my radio primed. And, yes, it's dry, basically, to touch. I even got my ashtray done. Uh, the back side of the dash and the front side's all done, and even my gauge cluster. And I even have the holes there that are drilled through so I can actually mount it in correctly. So, but the deal is, I'm not going to paint this. Well, yeah, I'm not going to paint this black yet. I got to get the gauges. Or templates of gauges or something like that first then I can put it on here and then I can cut the holes out for this and I can figure out how I'm going to cut the holes properly because I'm not going to use the cutoff wheel to do it so if anybody has any ideas please tell me down in the comments below on uh, getting and cutting holes out for your gauges um, but tomorrow I'm going to come back after this is actually fully dried. I'm going to sand this down. Just hit it with 600 grit. I'm not going to worry about actually sanding it down to 400 grit than 600 like I'm going to do with the car. Because the Maverick had texture on the uh, doors and everything like that. This is smoother. But yes. Um, and of course it's going to be matte. So you're not going to really see... If there's any little imperfection, it's just going to be all black and it's going to really hide really easy. Now, you will be able to see stuff if you look with a magnifying glass and really want to be nick and picky. I'm not going to be nick picky with this car, even though this car is going to look really nice once it's done. So, tomorrow, which is will be in the next side on this video, I'm going to have this sanded down and then spray it black um, this is all going to be black same as this this piece and that piece right there then we come to the car itself it's taped up because i'm going to spray my doors black i'm going to spray the inside of the doors all black all the way up to there and there all around but this is going to stay blue i'm not going to touch none of this but this is taped around here also because I'll be spraying through here and down. And I've already hit it with 600 grit, so we're nice and smooth. But I'll show you. Can you see all that? Yeah, I don't care. The only way you would actually get to fix that is if you use uh, mud over it with body filler. Uh, besides that, you're not going to get rid of that with paint. Because that is from the factory. The factory did it that way. So I'm leaving it like that. So this will be black. Come back here. And same as the door panels. This is, has that textured look too. And onto the side. So 600 grit. Spray it black. Which it's already been hit 600 grit. So tomorrow as soon as I get home from work. I'm going to hit it with. Um, some wax and greaser removal. Because it will probably get dust on it tonight. So blow it off wax and grease removal and then come back with a tack rag clean it up and then we'll go ahead and just mix it the black four to one to one and i'll show you that tomorrow and we'll come back and spray it and oh yes i got my a firewall rubberized with undercoating and it's a sound in there too so heck yeah it's not the only coat i'm going to do i'm going to get another can and i'm actually going to spray over it again but she's good right now and um yeah okay guys <clears throat> okay guys i came out here right after i got work started heating up the place and we're up to temperature now 
and I'm also going to be spraying the trim but they got to dry first before I can do them so and I'm not going to paint them right there I'm going to paint them actually on this table so um, now what I did was I actually went over this with 200 or 220 grit and then I came back with 600 and I worked at it about an hour on hand and I think I got this looking pretty good so being a matte color if there is anything I believe it'd be a little hard to see now I could be wrong but we're gonna find out so everything is ready except for my gauge cluster I gotta wipe that out because the adhesion promoter is not drying fast enough so let me move the camera around to where y'all can see this actually changing colors instead of like yesterday to where you only said the back side of this damn guys this paint is taking a while because it's real syrupy so that's just stage one for you so right now we're at three i could actually go and spray this but i don't want to fill this thing up to four so pour a little bit in it We'll go right there. Maybe the, the volume that's in there will help it fill up a little faster. It does look like it's going a little faster. So, basically, what I'm going to do is, you see it's down at the three, we're going to fill up to the four, then see the next four, I'm going to fill the activator to there, and then see the next four, then we're going to fill the, uh, actually not, I said that wrong. Okay, the primer was done to the four, to the first four. Okay, because that's one to that's four to one. Now, with this hot rod matte black, we're going to go four to four. So that skip middle one right there between that four. The third one, skip it. That is fifteen percent. We're not doing fifty percent. So we're going to go to the very last four. That's four. So four to one to one. So it's four, four, and four. That's how I'm mixing it on this one, and that's going to uh, do it see so four parts black one part activator one part reduced Okay guys, oh my god, these look so incredible. Okay, they're still drying because I went ahead and did uh, four coats on the dash, three coats on the door panels, or on the doors. The plastic pieces got three coats. My gauge cluster got four also to match with that. Ashtray's done, 
cigarette or radio trays done. Um, my pieces for the engine bay are done. My door, my plastic pieces are done. I mean, just look at it. You can tell. This thing is looking incredible. Just can't wait till it fully dries. So, it'll be a little while before it dries. I'm going to give it all night. But, just look at this. Oh my god. So nice and even. I mean, yes, it does have texture to it because the factory metal had texture to it. So, just look at this door panel. The door looks incredible. Just, oh my god. Now, what I do got to do to the door panel, though. The actual insert for the panel... It's going to be made out of metal. It's going to be a real thin uh, sheet of metal to where I can bead roll it real easy. Or it'll be aluminum, one or the other. But it'll have like, I'll try to do the factory bead lines in it to give it like the factory look, but just out of metal. And I did save enough black to do two door panels for the car. So, because it'll be black on black. I mean, the whole interior is going to be black with just a little bit of chrome and a little bit of blue in it but oh my god it just looks incredible so i'm gonna go ahead and pull all the tape off and i'll get back with y'all in a second okay guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope y'all like the color that i'm going to choose for the interior for the car and i like I said i'm gonna let y'all know this one at the last time the interior as y'all know is going to be matte black but the Headliner is going to be the original black headliner that the Mavericks came out with. And then the carpet is going to be the original black carpet that the, the cars came out with. Because this interior was all black with like this greenish plaid look on the seats. Uh, but what I am changing is instead of like the glossy black, it was going matte black. There's going to be a little bit of chrome trimming like the Maverick home is going to be chrome. My bezels for my gauge cluster, well, they might be black, might be chrome. They come with two, uh, two bezels. But I know, like my CD, my radio trim is going to be all black. I might throw some blue pinstriping on it. I don't know yet, but I'm pretty happy the way it looks right now. Um, and who knows? I might just leave my vents black. Let me know in the comments below, should I do an all basically black with very little chrome da dash or should I have like my vents uh, chrome, my radio bezel chrome along with the Maverick emblem that's staying chrome. Let me know in the comments below, but yes. And the seats, seats are going to be black, the back seats are going to be black. And I will tell y'all more about that when that video comes. And that's going to be incredible. I'm not doing it. I'm going to have somebody else do it for me. Save me a little bit of time. That's the only thing I'm not having. I'm not doing myself. Yeah, it's going to be the back seats so we're upholstering. So, okay guys. If y'all like this video, hit a thumbs up. If y'all are new to the channel, please, please subscribe to my channel. Hit those notification bells support me that's all i'm asking i'm not even asking you to buy my merch anymore i'm not asking you to do anything except for watch my videos and hit those thumbs ups that's it and just subscribe to my channel literally that's all i'm asking so guys i'm gonna get out of here go get cleaned up uh and i will see y'all on the next one bye bye